I know having a perfect house will not make my depression or my anxiety or my ADD go, or my SAD go away. You know, having a perfect house, which a lot of people that I know have, I, I'm not willing to spend my time doing that. My mom did that. I lived with that. I lived with perfection growing up. And, um, you know, I'm not wired that way to need it. And I don't think it would, it will, would bring peace of mind if I had it. But even when this clutter is gone, I will, I won't live in a perfect house. And you are still a whole person and a, uh, valued person, whether you live in a perfectly neat house or a perfectly not neat house. Okay, here's coming in my house. Here's the full tour. That's Benny. And, okay. This is when you come in. So, the basket normally lives under there, but I think under there is my fireplace logs which should have gone in the basement months ago. A couple of boxes that have been sitting there. And yeah, so this is what we've got. This is the entrance. And okay, so I'm gonna go, I guess I'll go this way. So you can kind of see, um, yeah. And then here's the good stuff. This is the room, it's my dining room. And this is where everything is landing that I need to go through and toss, donate, or keep. So everything lands here because I don't wanna put it in the basement. And it's arrived here through um, accumulation of Things like going through drawers and trying to figure out, um, you know, decluttering drawers, decluttering books, decluttering stuff. So all my decluttering, I bring up here because I'm not going to work in the basement. This is a, my husband's desk. And again, clutter amiss. Mm -hmm. Dead plants. Whoops go here you can kind of see what it is yeah remnants of my daughter having a party with the ribbons and then yeah medicine baskets whatnot now it's not uncommon for me to have dishes in my sink which I know I do now but I'm trying to kind of get the kitchen going in the morning so that at least it's there so people can um, be in a space that they can make food and, and do whatever. Now we're gonna go upstairs and yeah, okay, so let's go. This house is hasn't been painted in 20 years. And there's lots of dust on here. Um, okay, the hallway. And this towel, whatever you want to call it, storage. This is where my husband's clothes live, out in the hallway. Very good. And the bathroom. And it is not... Um, you know, it's kind of clean, but, um, not always. Okay, then my room. Let me kind of pan out here a little bit. You can kind of see my clothes. Really, they're pretty organized compared to how they usually are. Um, more bins, more whatnot that I need to go through that just really needs to go in that uh, dining room area so I don't live in a bunch of clutter in my bedroom. 
And then these are from me cleaning out the bathroom storage closet. They've been there since Sunday and they, they could live there a minute. I do not get in a hurry because I have things I have to do and want to do. And even though it would be great for me to get that done, it's just not possible with dealing with my seasonal affective disorder, anxiety, depression, taking care of my family, taking care of me. And then here, we'll go over here. This is my closet, which isn't too bad. It was really jacked up. But as you can see, I've got piles of clothes here. And closet. And yeah, lots of piles of clothes. So then we'll come into my studio where I'm supposed to be filming videos. Um, let me just give you a little shot. This was the spare room that, that uh, really held everything that you kind of see in the dining room. So I decided then to make this middle bedroom my studio. Thus, everything from this room had to get gone through. And this is where we're at with it. Um, yeah, so all of this, every thing here, uh, there's a reason it's here and um, yeah, it's actually the cleanest it's ever been. Okay, so that is it. So I wanted to share this with you all because the thing about this house is it's probably never clean. It's, it's only clean when I know I'm hosting something and then I have to go through all this work and anxiety to get it right and... I've decided that, you know, as much as I don't want to live with clutter, I do have to go through things and I do have to make decisions on items. And so for me, the best place for everything to live is in my dining room. And I do have a plan and I do work on it consciously when I have the space and time to do so. But I know it would be great if I could, you know, snap my fingers and have it have it go away. And um, in the past, I've hired organizers to help me do that. But the nice thing is, I know how to do it now. And I can do it myself. I've learned so much from hiring organizers. I know how to how to make decisions and uh, how to lay it out and, and how to get things gone. So um, doing it myself saves me money. And I... Uh, it's not as quick, but it's it's cheaper. So I have a plan. It will be gone. Last year, I said it'd be gone by Thanksgiving. This year, it's got to be gone by Thanksgiving. I, I really am at the tail end of it, and I've never been this close. So um, yeah, that's, that's the scoop on my clutter. You know, I do have house maintenance to take care of that I want to take care of and uh, that kind of thing, and I will get to it. But first, things first. And so I'm very, you know, methodical about when I do what. And for that reason, as far as the declutter goes, I really um, am mindful about what I bring into this house because I don't really need anything. So unless it's something I need, I don't buy stuff to bring in. Um, but anyway, I hope this helps you guys seeing this and just know that you aren't alone and everybody's okay with 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 being where they are okay be well